Okay guys, uh, in this tutorial I'm going to show you something very, very special. I have not uh, shared this with anybody else. I haven't taught anybody else uh, how to do this yet. Um, so as you see here, this is um, an image from a previous profile that I had. And this is basically called a masthead banner. Um, it runs you know, above your profile information. Um, kind of gives it a different look, something that not a lot of people are seeing uh, very often on many profiles. And this is something that you can do absolutely free. Now, granted, um, you know, I do have some photo editing uh, experience, so, you know, the actual creation of this image uh, is something, unless you have photo, you know, generation software, that's going to take uh, a lot more complex tutorials on how to do. So, uh, I'm not necessarily going to be able to show you exactly how I created the image and the layout itself, but more importantly, I'm going to show you how to create this banner and the placement of it and have something sitting at the top of your MySpace page that you can design and uh, get some extra attention, whether it be an image of yourself or some content or text or what have you. So uh, the first thing I want you guys to do is go ahead and uh, jump over to a website uh, up here. It's called www.myspacebanners.com. Okay, that's the site you're going to want to be looking for. Uh, this is what it looks like when you get there. Okay, and uh, I just want you to jump down to uh, the banner at the bottom that says Monster, okay, and click on that. And you can actually uh, edit the size of the image and, and do various things with it, which I'm going to show you. So then it's going to give you the option to customize your banner. If you want to, you can go through the steps uh, of customizing and doing something different. I'm actually going to uh, tweak that and give you uh, a real functionality uh, assessment on, on how you can really take this to the extreme. So if you want, go ahead and, um, you know, if you want to do background information and image, you can plug it in that way. Um, you can also do, you know, add text to it, borders of effects, um, but I'm also going to show you a couple tweaks you can do to it to eliminate this uh, banner that they'll embed in that image. So just go ahead and click on that uh, monster uh, button down there again at the bottom. Scroll back up and just click on the save button. And uh, from this page all you want to do is select the masthead banner, the one second from the bottom, and click save this banner. Now they do give you paid options to uh, not have any adverts, um, you know, direct links, uh, blah, 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 you know, email support, all this stuff. Um, they're basically trying to, you know, charge you to remove their advertisements. I'm going to show you how to get it, uh, out of them for free, okay? So go ahead and click continue on for free. And basically when you do that, it's going to give you, scroll down, it's going to give you your code, okay? Now this is a lot of mess here. I'm going to explain what it all means and go through this with you guys. So um, basically I've copied this uh, into a Word document so it's a little bit bigger. So there's a lot of, a lot of stuff here, okay? Now first thing I want to show you that they've done is... Um, Actually, let me jump back. Um, see where it says make your own banner at mybannermaker.com. Uh, I'm going to show you, as you've seen on my MySpace profile, I don't have that. I don't have any adverts. Um, I don't have anything to linking to their page. It's, it's all about me. So basically, the first thing you want to do, again, there's a linking property. If you watched uh, how to edit those in uh, one of the previous tutorials, you'll know that that's what that means. Well, I don't want my image linking to anything. I don't want it connecting to their site. I don't, you know, I'm not trying to give them free business. So basically what I'm going to do, it starts here and you'll see where they're trying to link back to their page and uh, it says masthead banner made with banner maker. What we're going to want to do is copy everything from here and we're going to scroll all the way down through the end of your linking blocks. Okay, everything from reference all the way down to uh, the end there right before you hit the word style in the brackets. And I just want you to hit backspace and crop all that out. Okay, the next part I want you to do is if you jump down, and again, even though there's all these spaces and, and the way that the, the coding is broken up, don't worry about that, that it's no concern of yours. Um, the next part I want to do is there's another linking property right here, starting with your A reference, and it's also trying to link to their page again. So I'm going to just highlight that little bit of text from the beginning of that bracket to the end of that bracket, and I'm going to hit backspace again and that's going to crop that out. Now the important factor 
is you've again got your image source. So this is uh, an opportunity where if you've uploaded an image to Photo Bucket, you can go right in here and type in your link to that image or paste that link and it's going to supply that image right there for you. Okay. And again, they've got that alt text that's basically designed to show up when you hover over it, give themselves a little bit more visual advertising credit. So I'm going to get rid of that one more time. And uh, this isn't critical, but uh, just to clean up the text a little bit uh, and the coding, this little section right here is just kind of your uh, end, um, how do I want to call it, your end bracket uh, for an enclosure of link property. So since we don't have any link properties whatsoever on our page, you can't click on it and link anywhere. It's just there for visual visualization purposes. That's not necessary. So I'm going to cut that part out again. So basically we've condensed this down. So if you publish this code to your profile, there's not going to be any banners from them. There's not going to be any link back to their site. It's just going to be clean and crisp. Now the next thing I want to cover with you guys is this. Um, it is supplying you with an available width of 728 pixels and height of 400 pixels. Okay, so that's basically the size dimensions of your image. You've got to, uh, you're basically forced to fall within to make it look clean. Well, I'm going to show you how to adjust that. Um, I like to have mine flush with the edges of this uh, MySpace toolbar head. Well, the width from here to here is actually 800 pixels. So I actually suggest that you change this value right here from your width to an even 800. And then as well, you can determine how large you want uh, your height. If you want it less than, than uh, the 470 that they've provided, if you want it to you know, stretch down for a thousand pixels uh, as far as your height, you can do that, okay? So again, with this particular image that I have in my uh, MySpace profile, um, I believe it's an even 470, okay? So I actually wanna change the height to 470 pixels and then as well the margin at the top has to reflect how tall my image is. So whatever your height of your image is that you need to change here, you also need to change the height here. And um, last thing uh, I basically figured out is this is a left margin, okay? This 364, you don't need to, I don't want you to have to worry about the, too much uh, of this. Just know um, that the 364 margin from the left of the page was good for the 728 default width pixel that they provide. So if you're actually gonna do a full 800 width, which is what I suggest to, to give you a flush uh, with the toolbar on MySpace, you actually wanna change this value you to an even 400 okay this uh, this extra top margin here by default it leaves it at 15 okay and lately when I've been trying to do that per myspace's uh, parameters let me show you what it looks like You can see it's actually trying to jump up and, and laying on top of this uh, toolbar here, and there's a little bit of gap down here. So I've just found just by, by tweaking that number um, and increasing it, uh, my top margin, and again, it's not the tar top margin at the top for the height, it's down here in the middle of it. Uh, the secret number I've just found through testing it is 26, so just FYI there. Um, and then obviously I fixed that, Everything looks flush with the bottom of the bar and there's no gaps in my image through the rest of the body of the profile. So again, the last number you really wanna probably take a look at changing is this value to 26. Um, and I don't know if that's just been some tweak MySpace has made, but um, you can tell that, that there's a change. So from here, that is it guys, it's this code right here. So once you've made those adjustments, got out the linking properties, adjusted the height, the width and the left margin for your property and as well that little bit of top margin fix. Um, this is the code. So all I do is basically copy this code with an 800 by um, you know 470 height image or, or whatever I've created and uh, I upload that to uh, you know photo bucket or image shack is another one. I paste the direct code in there and uh, you just go into your edit profile section. There's the code right there save your changes 
and boom, there it is, okay? And it'll automatically plug in that image, shift everything down uh, to the bottom so everything fits neatly. Typically, the best file format that you wanna save an image is a .gif image. That's gonna compress the size, it's gonna make sure, especially if it's a larger image, that's gonna load quicker than anything else, and uh, that's exactly how you do it, folks. So hope that helps out. Um, hope that gives you a little bit uh, greater level of dynamic to your profile, and uh, that's it for now.